Let's see what this thing looks like on a couple of rifles. Skeeter works amazing. We got about 18 of these hollow sound wrenches. They're all the same. So one is one is tiny. Oh, well, it's got a ratchet system. The other one doesn't have that. Okay, hold on. Let's get that on there. Man, that's beefy. Nicest one yet. They work in a ratcheting system with the lock. It's not just twist and turn for tension. It ratchets. So I'm almost guaranteed not to come off. Did I remove the BTG? Oh! Right, I need a buffer and a spring. Because I put that was the Anderson one. Could have sworn I had one that I didn't use. Okay, plan B. Sorry, Mr. 1.0. You're on the bottom totem pole now. You're the new Anderson. You're used to it. Yeah, that's the Expo Arms. Not fancy, but. Sorry, ADM. Apologize. Where is my. Here it is. your buffer dude but you're tough you're an ADM god damn it we don't need those thinking buffers well okay, yeah you kind of do there we go keep that EPC clean not a scratch on that anode and I was rapid firing on that bitch I'm telling you it's a really tough coating did you see the Noveski it's already all starting to that was one run take two take me All right. It always feels better with a mag in it. Empty mag, safety reasons. Well, oh, maybe away from the light. So it's on that barrier? Yeah, you can still see it. Fucking amazing. <sighs> Drop those caps. Gotta remove that kill flash. You have to get in there. I know they screw out, but. to be zeroed and laser board but even I'm pointing that directly at that bright ass light and still see it and it's not even all the way up not even close look at that that's amazing that's fantastic just fantastic I love it
All right. Quick release. Granted, it's going on the ADM. Oh yeah, that's it. That's going to be QD too. That's right. I freaking love Hollis and stuff. Uh, where's your spot? Going forward, is that bridge? It's on the precipice of bridging. Looks good on there too, huh? But that's it's going on uh, the radiant. Yeah, it's too far forward. Sweet spot. He's a big boy, dude. <laughs> I like it. Another cool feature of the uh, as far as the Elite Series stuff, it's not a painted on logo, it's all etched into the metal. It's a nice touch. And it's the same color, so it's low key. Pretty cool, pretty neat, pretty neat. Careful. Spread it out. Huh. Guess we can try the guys in for chits and giggles. Keep going into this damn thing. Mr. Mallard. I may run the Mallard on the Radiant. And run this, uh, matter of fact, let me switch it out right now. because the FDE and the ODG vibe, right? Now you're too low. What I should do is use the ADM mount from the uh, the gray man on this guy. This one's I find these a bit too low. So, no, you're the 515. Where's the... There it is. Way too big for this guy, but. Yeah, I mean, it's so clear, even through that bright light. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Get the Holosun FTE. Yeah, he needs a bit of a riser in this guy. need another ESFH but I'm not in a rush. It is it is state. It is state. Yeah. I mean it's solid on there. Aesthetically does it look weird? Yeah. 
Hey, it's a reminder of where I started. I don't give a shit, Falcon. I'll take the drags all day. I don't give a fuck. I know how far I've come. A bunch of dipshits in a fucking gun group are going to make me feel bad. Not anymore. Not anymore. I mean, I appreciate the input and the criticism. Mm, this thing ran like a top with that optic. Didn't That scalar work didn't budge. Cool. Okay, so... I need to make an official determination. Do I keep it? I'm keeping it. And I'll buy a 508. And then that's then we're done. Pending. Well, let me see if I get any bites on that on that on that build now. I've been going balls to the wall lately, but that train's got momentum. It's hard to. Reel it in. There's the rail. I got to keep the rail off the Anderson. That's the Stinger. It's not a bad rail. It's solid. Good. Painted out EG. This might be a good test for that new paint, but I don't want to waste it because I'm not going to run it. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll do like a cheap aero build or something. Once I get to a certain point, then it's not hysterical. It's like, okay, yeah, he wants to try something. You know, toss together a build. Well, I don't know. I don't see the point. Yeah, well, we got a spare rail. We'll add it to the drawer for this Chinesium trash. I should hang this on the wall as a reminder to the others. Don't do it. Optics plate on the way. Looking forward to that. 509T is going to rock on this thing, dude. I do need to pick up a 20 run round mag for this guy. They're not cheap, but at least one. Not more. Let me get my purchase right. Got work to do, but we're going to get there. Very well, very well. Pretty neat, pretty good. Mr. Mallard, he's going to go on the uh, new build, the Radian. Oh. The only thing I'm not crazy about, I mean, that BCM rail is solid, but I kind of want a better rail for him, but it'll, it'll do for now. You know? Down the line, I might pick up a, like a I don't know, a, um, what's it called? Centurion Arms. Maybe a cat quad kind of type rail. I don't know. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. The BCM will suffice for a while. It's a good, solid rail. Uh, and that Big Tech is fast, dude. Uh, they already shipped my gun. I sent them the FFL info. The only thing I don't know is it like primary arms when as far as the hundred dollar gift card, primary sometimes it takes a good seventy two hours, sometimes four, five, six days before you. Sometimes you don't get it. One time I didn't. I had to call them after like two weeks, saying, "Hey, yeah, uh, you guys gonna send me my uh, bonus bucks or what?" And they said, "Oh, sorry, there's a problem in the system," and they sent them. So I'll have a hundred bucks to spend. How much is a 508 dot? $299 ish, $300? Maybe I'll just put that towards the dot. We'll see. Make a move, make a move. So, okay, cool. All right, guys. Just want to do a little test fit. I've been going back and forth. Do I want to send it back? Save the money. But it's a solid optic. Where's the Ames right now? The Ames is on the 13.7. Roscoe, bad build. Another, it's like a beefy little board cube.
Oh, you got caps too, don't you, brother? Cool thing about these caps is they're totally transparent. You don't even need to take them down. Unless you're like really anal about uh Although they're, they're just a little bit uh stiff. Here. There we go. Never did find that little detent spring for the the other ambi safety lever that popped out. It wasn't quite seated perfectly. And then the pressure just got to it and pew. I looked everywhere, I swept everywhere, moved everything. I'm not sure where you find a part this bloody big, half the size of a grain of rice. So I might have to throw a mill spec in there. I don't want to order another set. But if this guy goes, I don't know, it's a good rifle, I might just keep it. And if I get a good offer, I let it go. I can always part it out too. Or just leave it alone. I don't know, we'll see. You know I change my mind a lot. It's a good solid little dude. I haven't shot him yet. We'll bring him to the range. You gotta shoot at least shoot it deep if I am gonna sell it. Although unfired is probably appetizing to so to a bunch of people. Like it's a virgin rifle. Even if it needs to be tweaked, it's never been fired or under any load or pressure. I don't know. We'll play that by ear, I guess. Well, okay, so the final verdict on this big fat bastard. Oh, both of us. I have a coin. <laughs> All right, let's get one of these snap caps here. If it lands on its head perfectly, I'll send it back. Oh, well, guess we're keeping it. All right. Tune in next time. I don't know what's going on. Guns already shipped. Radiant, I haven't heard back from Bowery yet as far as shipping. I sent them all the info. Um, looks like uh, Thursday for both the uh, safe space, like I said, and the other order. The FCD stuff uh, has a shipping label. It hasn't really been dropped off yet. And that shows a two-day estimated shipping. Roger's fast about that. So the FCD stuff I ordered in the plate. We're probably looking at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday-ish. Because Sunday doesn't count and tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow, the FCD RHF 15-inch shows up. So we'll do the video on that. And then immediately it's going on that uh, on that Noveski. Not going to spare any time with that. We'll pull that uh, the BCM off. And we'll do the video on that. We'll get that RHF on there properly. Uh, it's going to look mint. I did a mock-up with a screen grab. Uh, it's a sexy rail, man. It's it, it's duck. It's FCD. You know, it's solid. So, yeah. Did I order PCMs or not? I had them in the cart, then I went back and forth because they're 90 bucks all in for two. I was going to order two of the ODG PCMs, the big ones. I might have dropped them off the cart because I was like, eh, you don't really need those. They're cool, but let's try to trim some money off. I got to check my order. I might have. I know I got a little green duck coming. I got a cool leather keychain coming with with the with the FCD logo. I know I got my OD green hat coming. I know I got my snake oil coming. I got the optics plate coming. I got my ODG server coated castle nut wrench coming. Yeah, I definitely dropped those off because it would have been. I think the order was like one hundred and seventy nine dollars. It would have been a lot more. Oh, yeah, and we'll get that new rail on there, looking sexy. Torque down to spec. And then, tomorrow, Saturday, well, depends. I think it's shipping postal service. Average mail time arrival around here is around 12.30 to 1 p.m. Uh, am I going to have enough time to enjoy a decent range day? They close at 4.30 at Strickland. And it gets dark early, too, on top. So, no, I won't. Not for Strickland. Strickland, I like to wake up at, you know, 6.37, have a coffee. Prep the night before, get the bags loaded, and just have everything ready to go. And then take off at like 9, 9 30, 10 o'clock. Nice early, fresh morning. I get there around 10 30, 11 ish, I guess. You know, on the day that I do go. That's, that's the hope, though. And then things come up. But I want to have at least a good two hours at the range for a decent run, if not longer. Uh, so, 
All right, we'll put that on hold briefly. We can do handguns tomorrow. Mail shows up and I get the rail. Well, then I'm going to spend time putting it on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it later. Uh, that's it for this one. All right, cool. Looking forward to all this. It's going to be fun. And uh, have a happy Friday. I think I might have a couple beers to celebrate. Uh, have a nice cold one for me, boys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Jake America.